Hello dentists, how are you today? I hope you're fine. Today our topic is about periodontal examination. So before we start our, our uh, topic today, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. Uh, let's start now. Okay, periodontal probing should be done in a systematic uh, manner to pick one part of the mouth to start in and move around one ma one tooth at a time. So we're going to take one one tooth uh, at a time. So here we are aiming to rec we want to calculate the uh, uh, total attachment loss. Let's see how. Uh, first of all, we are aiming to record the pocket depth. The first thing, pocket depth, the presence and or absence of bleeding following probing, as bleeding is a measure of active inflammation and the, atta the tissue attachment loss. Okay, so we are aiming for these points. What are they? The de pocket depth, presence or absence of bleeding, following probing, and the tissue attachment loss. Let's start now. The probe should be placed, so the periodontal probe should be placed in the gingival sulcus and moved gently around the tooth to avoid unnecessary trauma. Uh, the, uh, the probing pressure should be consist consistent. Uh, we have to take care, beware of the angulation of the probe to avoid inaccuracy. So it has to be parallel to the tooth. So we have to hold to the periodontal probe parallel to the tooth. Uh, let's see, the depth of the pocket is measured in millimeter. It should be recorded on the periodontal chart and it's us it is usual to record it is uh, usual to record it at six points around the tooth so we're going to make uh, six readings three lingual and three buccal so we're going to make six readings three lingual and three buccal the attachment loss should be recorded on the sheet in a similar manner after probing the sulcus and recording the depth of the pocket and the tissue attachment loss it's necessary to wait about for about 20 seconds to see if there is any bleeding from the pocket as, as we said that bleeding is a sign of active inflammation so let's start now how to calculate the attachment before we go to how to calculate the attachment loss uh, let's see this uh, radiograph here in this radiograph you can see the radiographic calculus and this is the bone of course this is the bone level okay uh, two millimeter to the cemento enamel junction okay and uh, we have here uh, this is the loss of attachment loss of attachment okay and this is the radiographic calculus and the bone level of course this patient uh, this patient is has very bad oral hygiene and his teeth almost loose okay let's see this pi uh, picture here and ha let's know how to calculate the total attachment loss so attachment loss is the degree of recession of the gingival margin and the probing depth added together so we're going to add the probing depth can you see this is the probing depth we're going to add the probing depth plus the uh, uh, the gingival uh, the recession of the gingival margin so this recession okay this part okay so let's now to measure the recession here how to how are we going to measure this recession is uh, this one millimeter so you can you take the distance from the gingival margin this is the gingival margin here okay to the cemento enamel junction so if we measure this part this is go it's going to give us one millimeter so it is the the distance between the gingival margin and the cemento enamel junction so we call it this is the recession the clinical recession okay and then um, uh, the distance from the gingival margin here from the gingival margin to the base of the pocket here this is the base of the pocket we call it the probing depth depth here probing pocket depth okay so which is when we measure that we put the probe here it's it counts uh, it's four millimeters we're going to see on the probe here it's going to show us four millimeters so now we got the clinical recession 
and then we got now the probing pocket depth how are we going to get the clinical attachment loss or the total attachment loss we're going to so uh, we add together these uh, these two the clinical recession and the probing depth to give us the total attachment loss which is five millimeters so total attachment loss is equal to the recession plus the probing depth which is going to be five millimeters okay i hope that you enjoyed today's